I am trying to constrain myself here. I really am. Because I know I, I have a lot of influence on a lot of you folks, and I'm, I'm telling you something. This party better change or I'm, or I'm getting out. I, uh, I can't stand this panic. I can't stand this constant lurch to the left. I can't stand all these Bush guys all over the place who brought us to this point, telling us we need more of whatever it is that they're cooking. The abandonment of conservative principles, the abandonment of our founding, I, it's, just, it's just unacceptable. Can somebody please tell me today what the Republican Party stands for? Mr. Producer, do you have any idea what the Republican Party stands for today? Too many white guys. Too many old white guys out there. I would suggest that you old white guys who are funding the American Conservative Union, who are just put down by the chairman, stop funding them. I would suggest that you old white guys out there who are funding the Republican National Committee, stop funding them. I would suggest that you two old white guys out there, T-O-O, who are funding the National Republican Senatorial Committee, the National Republican Campaign Committee, and every other crap office that they've set up for self-preservation, stop funding them. Fund individual candidates, conservatives, conservatives slash libertarians, constitutionalists, people who are going to help save this country. Listen to the crap that we have to listen to now. They got the candidate they wanted. They lost. They attacked conservatives. They attacked the Tea Party. They pick out two Senate candidates and tell us, look at this. Look what you've done to us. Meanwhile, they keep pointing to Marco Rubio. He wouldn't have won but for the Tea Party. They point to Ted Cruz. He wouldn't have won but for the Tea Party. Rand Paul, Mike Lee, that bench that they like to talk about, that's our bench. I'm telling you, folks, I can barely take this. Oh, and then we're lectured. Don't raise your voice. Come on. Dust yourself off. Here we go. Don't lecture us about what to do and how to react. We know what to do. We are way, way ahead about these timid, inconsequential, weak, Republican, quote-unquote, leaders. If we're a regional party, it's due to them. If we're losing the Hispanic vote, it's due to them. And now they're trashing the 72% who vote. Many of whom vote for them. I know. I'm, I'm, listen, uh, I could sit here and, uh, as I say all the time, put a smiley face on it, pretend this is just another baseball game, we lost this inning, uh, lost this game, just play the next game. Uh, 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 that's not correct. I think some of my uh, brothers and sisters in this business and on TV and m- most of these Republican politicians, they're schizophrenic about this. Did they not just tell us last week that this election was about our survival and now all of a sudden it's just another election? This election was about our survival. It doesn't mean we're going to give up. But, oh, but, but, but who's given up? Boehner's given up. Well, uh, yeah, we lost the election. Uh, Obama cares a lot of the land. Question. If Nancy Pelosi were Speaker, and there was a law that was passed by Republicans, only Republicans in the Senate and the House a few years earlier, signed by George Bush in the law, would she ever make a statement like this? Well, it's the law of the land. People spoke. They never give up on the left. They always find a way. By hook or crook. They use parliamentary rules. They obstruct. They sabotage. They connive. They organize. They plan. Our guy goes on TV, ABC News, and uh, throws up all of these thoughts. Does he understand that he is the one demoralizing conservatives? He's the one demoralizing the base and the Republican Party? Does he even understand what happened on Tuesday? That three million Republicans stayed home, and if they showed up, we would have won? Oh, good Lord. 
This is why I, I admire the left. I detest the left, but I admire the fact that they fight like hell. Look at this guy, Boehner. I have no respect for this. None. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ordered your free Ronald Reagan desk calendar yet?